You see what happens when you climb Mount Everest? You die. The moral of the story? Climbing Everest is bad. Alright, alright, alright. Maybe I'm being overdramatic. <laughs> Everest starts Jason Clark, Josh Brolin, Jake Gyllenhaal, and other famous actors. And this movie tells the true story about a group of mountain climbers who decided to climb Mount Everest because... Well, I don't know. Ask the real people who did it. So they go to Everest, they made it to the top, and they have one task climbing down. But things don't go as planned. They're caught in the middle of a storm, putting them in a life and death situation. You know one of those moments where you see a film that is based on a true story and you just don't know how they're gonna tell this story? Are they gonna tell it in a basic way? Or are they gonna tell it in a way that is pretty uplifting and interesting? Well, this movie did just that. I mean, it's pretty intense. When you think about climbing Mount Everest, you say to yourself, Anyone can do that. I can do that. But no, they really show you that climbing this beast is freaking dangerous. Even before the climax, there were a couple of moments where the characters are just not alright. There was even one scene where it looks like that they are just near death. The way the movie tell us information about climbing Mount Everest is just really interesting. The health problems during the climb, some of the information that we don't even know. Some of the information that makes us shudder because it's so disgusting. When we go into the mountain, that is when the cinematography gets really good. It's so beautiful. And this movie is in 3D. And I say to myself, what's the point? And I was right. I felt like I was watching a 2D film. Sometimes. There were some moments where I felt like I was with these guys going through this hardship. There was this one scene where there was this high angle shot and there are two snow barriers between you. And that shot was perfect because it felt like you were suddenly synced into this movie. Now I saw this movie in an AVX theater, not IMAX. But they're pretty much the same with the widescreen. But while I was watching the movie, it felt amazing. Jason Clark is basically your main guy. And then you got Josh Brolin and other people with you. Clark is one of the people that is focused the most. He has to survive this thing because he has a wife, played by Keira Knightley, who is pregnant. There are other characters that has this similar story, and you're just hoping that they would survive. Everyone did a great job portraying the people going through this. Although, it could have helped if I could tell which character is this character. When they go into the mountain, especially towards the top, the characters was covered up in winter gear, and to make things worse, they were covered in snow. So you're having a hard time and pretty confused which one is which, and you just have to take a wild guess. And I find that to be a problem, especially during the climax. And you ask yourself, who's dead, who's not dead? And the pacing can be an issue too. There were some scenes where they were just talking and resting, and some of these scenes just take a long time, and you just want to see more mountain climbing. But overall, this movie is pretty damn good. Even during the slow pacing and confusion of telling who's which, this movie is not boring. It's gripping, it's intense, you feel like that you are with these guys, and it makes you imagine what if you were climbing Mount Everest, and the precautions you have to take. I'm giving Everest 7 pictures of Everest out of 10. So, for those who have this impulse of climbing Everest, be careful. Just be careful, because if you don't, then basically the movie tells it all. So, that is my review of Everest. Thank you for watching. More reviews on the way.